Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review a ROM. Okay, so we all are custom ROM lovers. Majority of the Android users do love custom ROMs because the stock ROM it is not that good. I'm not blaming the stock ROM, but I feel like I don't like to use stock ROM. Okay, so what do we expect? We expect the ROM to be smooth, the ROM to be stable and it should have some customization. So right now what we are going to do is we are going to review a ROM called a Stag OS and the Android version is 12.0. So let us take a look at the um, device information. So basically as you can see the ROM uses 12 point I mean Android version 12 and you can see that it is using the latest Citrus Moon kernel and the the fingerprint used with this particular ROM is of Pixel 6 Pro. So basically that means once you go for the safety net verification let's verify the safety net whether it passes or not. Yes it passes but what you need to do is you need to enable Magisk hide. Now um, to talk about the ROM, I mean about the flashing procedure, it is very simple. You need to use the um, EU vendor, latest EU vendor. So it is the 12.5.5 vendor to boot the ROM. Since the ROM comes with uh, comes as vanilla, I would suggest you to use Flame G apps. So Flame G apps is something that I use to boot the ROM. So if you are using the full Flame G apps, you will get the latest Pixel widgets clocks and stuff like that so basically um, the android 12 widget is all about the clock you get analog you get uh, digital clock in various shapes and stuff like that so you will get that if you're using flame g apps now secondly let us go to the settings page you can see how smooth the rom is let me launch settings look it is pretty much smooth and if you scroll down the um, notification area as well as the quick settings you can see that there is no lag no jitter whatsoever so the rom is pretty much smooth thanks to javasin for optimizing the rom so let us launch the settings page as you know that we already know the each and every function under the settings page but what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at the customization part of the rom so basically the first thing that you will have is themes either you can go for custom color if you wish to or get the default wallpaper color then then comes the horns this is a settings i mean customization option for stag os so let us select horns now um to, to when we talk about customization i mean we cannot really blame anyone of not having too much customization since they are trying to add more and more custom features so we will have to wait for some time uh, now we get um, overall four options the first one is status bar as you can see status bar what we get is we get battery style customization so that's it nothing more than that and lock screen you get smart space i mean it's just you know having some notification arrangement in the lock screen nothing much nothing more than that power menu you get nothing but something notification you get option to customize the notification i mean regarding the in call vibration options at all so these are the uh, customization option that is with the ROM. Now if you go to the system and you get gestures customization. So that's it. Nothing more than that. Um, well to talk about the ROM, StagOS had been in the custom ROM field for a very long time. So you can expect stable ROM from Stag. And the default camera that is being used with this ROM is Camera Go. Which is very nice. Um, so that is about the rom features and rom customization overall the rom is really nice and uh, it's really good to use if you want to use it as a daily driver of course you can use it as a daily driver it passes um, play store certification it is so smooth to use and uh, every function is working as far as i know i have used this rom for about um, two or three hours and the rom worked 
flawlessly so it's a nice rom so if you wish to use it as a daily driver definitely you can use it as a daily driver too so that is my verdict about the rom the rom you offers you minimal customization even though it is minimal in customization still you can expect a stable build so that's it once again i would like to thank you for watching the rom review and uh, please make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel